Howdy, buddy. We're at the uh, Buena Vista Club. It's a beautiful home, as you can see, that were built in the 1920s, 1930s. You can see the background. And what they're doing is enhancing an existing wetland. And the key sedges we're using here is Cristatella and Stipeta. And then I'll put a list of the forbs that we planted in. It's hy native hibiscus, aster, uh, or not aster, I'm sorry, uh, iris versicolor, physostegia. We're putting in some helenium and gallium. I thought I'd put a list down and you can see the whole list. I, I gotta get going, I gotta get ahead of them. Okay, so this is a, this is back to, it's cool, this is a community effort. It's a community of people that live here. They're just looking at ways to enhance and promote a better runoff to the lake and eliminating some of the turf you can see. And, it'll, and it might keep creeping out each year and there's turf down by the lake that has value to the community, so they'll keep that. But it's really beautiful that they find enhancing and adding value to something that was once a system and the system declined and disappeared as people put more and more turf in. Okay, well we're drilling and planting. We're laying out the Galium boreal, the Iris versicolor, and the Physostegia virginiana. And we're, we're moving pretty good. Just thought I'd update you. We're, we're creating patterns. And that's a nice thing using native plants. Just not randomly put them in and just say, well, let them be who they are. The idea is composition. There's no reason we can't put native plants in based on their growth rate and growth habit and, and put them in a social system of living with good competition and also so they grow into each other with, with a good look, a good aesthetics. Okay, thank you. Well, it's not even lunchtime yet. The planting's finished. You can see some of the patterns, iris versa color, drifting through, just champs here and iris. See the patterns of iris flowing through. And we have blue lobelias drifting through there. Uh, Lobelia syphilitica, Galium boreal. And we have Physostegia in the back, Virginiana, along with Carex cristatella. Yeah, I think it'll, it'll look pretty good. And we have, they put a path wind, so we have a small path, and we just carried the same patterns over to the other side. So I, th I think it went well. And the uh, homeowners really did all the planting. We pitched in by spreading the mulch and doing the drilling. So it was a good, uh, a good joint effort on everybody. All right, this is the this is the end of this project, and we'll stay in touch.